Chicago is the toughest. It's the toughest. If you grew up in Chicago, you can grow up anywhere. Just because I live in the hood, that don't mean I, you have to be, have to act like it or have a mentality like you this tough guy, you you this, you that. My name is Sire Khalif Carroll. Sire means king, and Khalif means prince. And I got that name when I was a newborn, and my granddad gave it to me because he he knew I, he said he knew I was going to be something special. Somewhere, your party's gonna be on, I guess. You're supposed to be getting a hotel room or something, right? Yeah. I don't know. Go shopping by my iPhone and stuff. Oh, okay. Well, you know they're gonna have everything ready for you. They're gonna have everything set up. You know how they is. They're gonna make sure you're good. You just be careful. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, I see the got the, the fresh look in me already. New blondie. He's tall, handsome, and very, and very smart and handsome. And he'll help you with your homework. Just give me a chance. I got some merchandise right here. It's a Hermes belt. It's from Paris. Hermes Paris. And once the shirt show, I got this boy sitting on there. Uh, let me take him off, please. <laughs> Let's look. Ooh, I'm gonna have him on. Molly and some rock got me leaning. What's up? Ooh, I'm cold all night. <laughs> I, I love people to tell me like you can't do this like look at your look at this look at this you broke this look at this that'll push me more harder and I find a way to make it work and have people really look at me like this guy is really un unbelievable I got I got hard work because I'm always, I'm always wanting to be the first one in everything, and I work hard to, to be the biggest player that I can try to be. And dedication is, I will never give, give up what I want to do. Since I was born, I never saw nobody die or in my family die. And when I was 16, my, uh, my uncle died that was very close to me. That was like, that's my grandma and brother, he died. So, they were, so it was painful, but I, that was like my first time ever crying over somebody that I really care about. So, like everything I do, I do it. I do it for me and my family, but I also do it for him. But he was—he was a good guy, though. Like he kept a smile on my face. He always told me that I was gonna be something in life. And he used to be like, "Man, this is my this is my best nephew I had in a long time. Like he gonna get us out of here." And he believed in me. So everything I do, I do it for him. Say 
Yeah. 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 Like people look up to me, like if I die or something, then people, people will come to my funeral, like they have kids with ball, with basketball and stuff like that. They won't like notice me like for ball. They'll like notice me like as a good kid, and uh, I feel like I'm God's girl.